I want to ask you, end of 2020, what's your price predict prediction? International Stacker. I, what I ended up doing is I got these for $19 a piece. All right. These four or five. I got these for about a dollar under spot as of yesterday's spots, so like 24. And then I got these for about 23 something a piece. Mm -hmm. Not right. bad, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. So I see you have a lot more selection since last time I was in here. Yeah. And people love the video, by the way, of your shop. Yeah, yeah I, I had some... a few people come in, actually. Did you? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Thank you. Well, um, did you want to... Um, obviously, we got a, you in another video now. Is there anything you want to tell people? I mean, it looks like you got a lot more selection, so you're definitely ready to sell, huh? Yeah, yeah. We got stuff here. We're ready to sell. Um, we did get these cool cool guys in. Oh, wow. Um, it's got like a piece of meteor in, in these. Oh, wow. There you go, stacking Stormtrooper. <laughs> There's a guy that wears a Stormtrooper mask. And it's from YouTube. the Cook Islands. It's got uh, a meteorite piece in there. Wow. That's cool. What does something like this cost? Um, yeah, we're selling for 150 That seems reasonable for a meteorite. <laughs> this one's really cool. That's 100 Oh, I like, too, how it's, like, popping through. Yeah, and this one's really cool. It's got a maze that you can actually play in the middle. It's got a ball in there. Oh, really? Yeah, it moves. Where's this from? First Strike Cook Islands. Huh. So that's a good question. Have you noticed, have a lot of people been coming in and selling since spots going so crazy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they have been, yeah. So would, would you say you see more people selling now or buying? It's a mixture. It, it really is. Um, the people who've been waiting for silver to jump, they're they're coming in and so they're ready to sell. People who uh, are hearing the news about everything jumping, they're kind of getting on it now. Even if they weren't into it before, they're so, like trying to be take advantage of it. So you've seen a lot of first-time buyers on this? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So what's your prediction? I mean, I know it's just totally prediction. Yeah. You think spot's going to go up or go down? It's, it's, I think it's going to continue to go up. Okay, so here's what I'm hoping for, and this is what I've been saying on my channel. I'm thinking when, um, that's a nice silver bar right there, that poured bar. Oh, that's oh yeah, let me take a look at that. So I'm thinking when the um, next stimulus comes out, short-term pullback, hoping it hits like in the high teens, like 19, then I'm going to back the truck up. You'll probably see me in here <laughs> and then ride it to the next level. <laughs> that's my hope. Could I be wrong? 100%. I think a lot of people before me have tried predicting the markets. Yeah. This is a cool bar. What, yeah. What's the story on this? Uh, I don't know. I didn't buy it. Uh, the owner bought it. So I don't, I didn't even look at it yet. Okay. So I need you to do a favor for me. Hide this in a dark corner. When spot drops down, I'll be back in for it. <laughs> Star metals. That is a really That's cool bar. Cool. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Well, I appreciate you, uh, humoring me and testing sure. these coins and, uh, sure. Oh, can I see that skull thing right yeah, there? Yeah, for sure. We actually made that ourselves. Did you? Yeah. It's, it was trial and error to uh, try to cast it and get it right. Oh, it's, wow. It's made out of uh, 925 silver. Awesome. It's really cool. Who did, did you do it? Or? No, I didn't do it, no. Nice. Great job on that. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool piece. Yeah, from what I heard from a lot of coin um, shop owners is that um, it's hard for them right now to keep silver. You know, it comes in and goes out. Some guy in Vegas got, I forget how much, it was a ridiculous amount, like 20 monster boxes in. Oh, he nice. had them for like 40 minutes and they sold. Nuts. Wow. Yeah, we got gold, we got some platinum here, oh. platinum eagles. So what do you think about platinum? I get that question a lot on my channel. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't know. I mean, I was thinking that eventually it's going to go back to where it was and flip with gold. Yeah. But I'm not, bas I'm not basing that on anything. I'm just... Yeah, just exactly. Just a good... See, and I haven't really gotten into platinum or palladium because gold and silver have the history. I know palladium and even platinum is used in catalytic converters. Right. Exactly. So the more green the world goes, then you're not going to need that. So is there going to be industrial demand for it in the future? That's what I'm wondering. Right, you know? exactly. That, that is... A good question. Damn. Move all this stuff away. Look at this goblet, guys. <laughs> cool. I got some. I found these actually in an old buy. Some vintage books. Oh wow. 
You, you know what I saw on a channel? Someone found some old receipts. Yeah. From someone who bought like, you know, 60 years ago and just mm -hmm. reading what they bought for the prices. Yeah. I found some pretty cool stuff in there. Yeah. Where'd you find these? Uh, it was in a steak buy and then they just left everything here and I start, started looking through it later. That's super cool. Are you going to Carson City? It's funny, I'm usually worried about face reveals and reflection, but I mean, <laughs> right. with the mask, it makes it way easier these days. What's the story down here? These, um, they're oh, those are foreign, uh, where are they? España, Spain. Pesetas, 100 pesetas. How much are you selling these for? Uh, I think they're listed for. I think they're listed for 20, but. I got me a couple of these. Oh yeah? Yeah. I think it melts somewhere in the teen, low teens. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Cool. Oh, and you got baseball cards. Yeah. I didn't know those time. You know what I got? So we used to be really into baseball cards. Yeah. And I was at the National Baseball Card Convention in Atlanta, Georgia. I must have been like 11 or something. I entered a drawing. Oh, I want an uncut sheet of uh, Mickey Mantle cards. Oh, wow. And it wasn't the original Mickey Mantle, but it was like this right. one. I mean, it's worth, back then it was worth a couple grand. Oh, wow. I don't know what it's worth now, though, since the baseball market kind of. It's actually cool. shooting back up. Is it shooting back up now? Yeah. yeah. Huh. We sold, like, we just got into the business. Like, you need to authenticate everything. But we got into right. the business. We sold, like, yeah, a couple grand worth of cars in, like, week. Oh, well. So maybe if I dig that out of my storage, I'll come trade it to you for some silver or sure. something. It's pretty cool. Okay, so um, before I get out of your hair here, um, I want to ask you, end of 2020, what's your price predict prediction? What will spot of silver be? It's okay if you're wrong. $50. 50 I'm, I'm wondering that too. I, it wouldn't shock me. Would it shock you? No. You know, it's funny. In a video I just did, um, I took the price it hit and... Um, the 80s and then again in 2011 and then i um inflation adjusted it okay it's already broken a hundred dollars if you look at the inflation adjusted oh, wow. yeah it's already been triple digits it's undervalued silver to the moon no i'm kidding <laughs> silver to the meteorite <laughs> so what is this machine here it's an x-ray machine for precious metals wow better than my setup <laughs> i have the sigma metallics pro it's the same technology as like a metal detector kind of okay so it's giving you a readout of 98% silver. Now, it really is 999. If it was fake, it'd probably show 55% copper, 30-something percent nickel. Okay. When it's close enough to 999, it's, right. it's pretty much okay. guaranteed. Um, and to compare that, we want to see some fake silver bars. Okay, yeah, let's see. Oh, and Scottsdale silver, too. I so, love Scottsdale. <laughs> right, so you can see the difference. 72% copper. Oh, wow. It's got a very small plate of So that's just silver. a plate in there. It's just a plate. So that's the difference. When you see 97%. Wow. Can, we check, can we check these three? Yeah, of course. So it's, it's really quick, too. This one. Yeah. Yep, 98. Okay. Now, what happens if we check like a, a piece dollar sign? Is it going to say 90%? It or, should, yeah. Or close to it, at least? Yeah, it should be, yeah. There we go. Okay. Cool. You know what made me suspect them is the ping test, you know? Because I okay. didn't have my detector with me. So I okay. pinged one of the eagles and it sounded kind of strange. Okay. Cool. What if we actually let's check one of this? Let's check this Morgan here since Morgans are the ones that are going to be more likely to be counterfeited, right? Yep. Sounds real off the bat. Yeah, it pinged really nice. Yeah, 92. So I got better than 90%. Let <laughs> me <laughs> check one of these halves. Good old barber. So how much does one of the, these types of machines run you? I think they're about 15, 20 grand. Woo! 15, 20. <laughs> See, mine I paid 1,500. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for helping me solve this mystery. Right, and sure. um, I guess I'll say catch you on the next one. One stacker on a journey.